Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So right now we're looking at the Indian Ocean for some reason. But anyways, let's continue playing as the Kingdom of the Ukraine, and yes, that is a thick Ukraine. So, you might be wondering, why didn't I release a Russian puppet? Well, that's because I thought that after I gave Mongolia most of Siberia and they annexed them, and besides, Mongolia is now at war with the Japanese, but... I figure that, you know what, this side, basically most of the Urals, oh actually, the Urals are over here, um, regardless, I thought, you know, Mongolia should get this part just because we don't have to deal with it. Germany would have probably wanted at least Petrograd and a good chunk of Russian territory, which they can't release the Russian Empire for some reason, but I decided, you know what, we still have this focus called Language Immersion Project. Villages with large Russian-speaking populations now receive access to government-subsidized Ukrainian language educational programs. So I'm thinking, you know what? We have this program in place. We might as well Ukrainianization, Ukrainianize the Russian population or whoever's over here. So I figured, you know what? We might as well. And I also took Moscow just because we were the ones who take it. So I figured, you know what? We might as well keep it. So I decided to not release the Russian Empire as a puppet. Partially because I hate lag, and that's why I gave Mongolia all of this and let, instead of letting them release Siberia. I didn't want to release the Russian Empire because that's still another country. Uh, as you take a look, after the war was over between us and the Russians, I was still at war with Georgia, so I had to take out Georgia. I released Azerbaijan, but obviously I gave that to Georgia because, like I said earlier, I hate lag, especially in Kaiserreich, so I just figured that, you know what, I'll just give the Georgian Kingdom Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan, and gave him a lot, a lot of oil, and it's a good buffer state between me and whoever's down here. Next up, we're still at war with Third International, but actually the Germans and the Reichspact in general has been doing not terribly. We are taking back some territory, especially most notably in the Netherlands, which is interesting. Of course, Spain has fallen, Portugal has fallen, Italy is, well, mostly syndicalist still. Actually, what are they? They are syndicalists. Okay, cool. Uh, Austria's here. Bulgaria and Turkey are killing each other, which is very interesting to see because... When I go to war with the Dona Edribun, or, you know, led by Austria, I'm going to need allies besides the Reichspact. Because, once we kill off Austria, we're probably going to kill off Germany, and then that'll probably be the end of the campaign. But, to kill off Germany, I'm going to need allies, and I'm going to need as many allies as possible. And right now, Bulgaria has lost about a third of a million men, while Turkey has lost one and a quarter. So, I'm thinking, you know what, let's go to war with Turkey. I already have the war justification. This isn't where we left off last time, as you can tell. It's September 19th, 1944. So, it's been a little bit of time since the end of the last episode, which is totally fine. So, I'm building up a lot more civilian, civilian factories and a few dockyards and a little bit of infrastructure down here. So, that being said, um, you guys do that. I also have been making some Georgian divisions. So, four Georgian divisions, um, just combat, 20 combat width, nothing really special. I'm still renaming some of our special divisions, which are still 40 combat width, and I've been trying to research tanks which I will need to help break through areas. So really, I didn't want to also release a Russian puppet just because I need factories. I actually really, really, really need factories. Now we could produce more than enough, but I need resources and factories in total. So especially need more aluminum and steel. Does Turkey have any of that? No, all they have is chromium. I've been trading away a lot of resources. That's why I'm building up a lot of civilian factories so I can trade away for even more resources so let's grab a little bit more aluminum from the Mongolians who are dying at the hands of the Japanese right now Ooh. also to make sure that the AI doesn't actually release puppets I had to core a lot of this Siberian territory for Mongolia I mean there's not a lot of people up here anyways so I figured that wouldn't be a bad idea they got a lot of manpower they don't have a lot of divisions seeing as the Japanese are attacking them like crazy also the Republic of China is here because they took out Qing China, and I guess Yunnan as well. Oh, Portugal. Oh, this is messy. Portugal's over here. But yeah. Uh, the Republic of China, they're market liberals, who under Hu Xi, and they got a lot of manpower. Holy crap, that's a lot of manpower. I really hope that the, this the Republic of China will go to war with the Feng Chin government and the Empire of Japan. I think that'd be really great to see. But that's just me. Princely Federation is kicking a little bit of Dominion of India booty, but we must continue. So I'm going to try to only use my special divisions to take out the Turks. They don't have a lot of manpower. They have some. They've got a couple divisions, but honestly, from what I saw between Turkey and Bulgaria, they've been killing each other like crazy, to the point where they have like no manpower left, or their divisions are very weak, I should say. But right now, 
exports. We have 100 political power. I could lower export focus to limited exports to save some goods. Um, that actually might be good for us to do. We lose a little bit of construction, but that's okay. You know, let's, let's do that. Instead of export focus, I need a few more resources. So let's go to limited exports. Uh, that might hurt construction a little bit, but that might help our supplies a little bit as well, which is very nice. Um, still can't make any synthetic refineries. We still got a lot of roads to, to rebuild. Regardless, let's go ahead and go to war with the Turks and see what happens. Right now, we got a couple planes here that will help us out. And I want to see if 40 combat with divisions can smash through the Turks. They've had time to prepare and plan. So, that should help us out. And I'm not going to... I'm going to call on my allies, yeah. That'd probably be for the best. I don't want my ships to get involved just because Turkey has actually quite a fairly large navy. And let's go ahead. Nice. All of our allies are calling, being called in to the Reichs Pact. And it looks like against a single division. They're doing okay. My guys are doing okay, maybe except for here, since it's only one division. They're attacking over river uh, with Nikolai Kolchak. Cool, very nice. Plane-wise... We should have some planes in the air. Yep, we're doing just a tiny bit of ground attack, which is fine. We took a little bit of territory. This should help the Bulgarians. So when this war is over, I'm going to take probably most of Turkey. You know, puppet them. But give Bulgaria probably the rest of Europe. That probably would be for the best. Just because... Why not? Because they probably deserve Constantinople. Even though we want Turkey as a puppet. And with Turkey as a puppet, then we might launch a naval invasion of Bulgaria, depending on what happens. Because I still want Bulgaria under me as well. I think that would probably be for the best. If anything, you know what? They can probably take Constantinople as long as we get this tile. Gallipoli. Yeah, we'll probably keep Gallipoli. Because without me attacking the Turks in the rear, the Bulgarians couldn't do anything. They're pretty... They're not weak, but they have divisions. They have a lot of divisions. But they're guarding the border against Dona Edribun, which could attack Bulgaria at any day, I suppose. What is Austria doing? Expand the Gebergstruppe. All friends in Bulgaria. Um, yeah, pretty much. They don't have a lot more else to do. Also, I also, I already told you guys that the time is definitely not where we left off last time. Between this and the end of the campaign, I might skip around or you know, just play this a little bit off screen. Or play this a lot off screen. Just because I think that'd be for the best. Just to get through this campaign a little bit quicker. I know there's not a huge amount of interest in this campaign anymore, but. I still want to finish that out fairly decently. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, losses. I mean, we suffered quite a few losses against the Third International. I did send my entire army over there to help them out, as the Reichs Pact is attacking again and again and again. Uh, Germany has lost 9 million, pretty normal. Uh, Union of Britain has lost 6.2 million. Uh, Commune of France has lost close to 12. It's just a lot of dead people. Wow, and the Turks have lost over 1.3 million to Bulgaria. We've killed 30,000 Turks compared to the 2,000 that killed of ours. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Now I'm thinking about it, it wouldn't make any sense for Georgia to annex all of Turkey, because I want to reduce lag, but, hmm. Two puppets is fine. Let's see. So I just finished this, which was nice. I need more rubber. Rubber, 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 rubber. It's very hard to come by. Looks like we need less of this. Uh, just do that. How much more? Nice. Awesome. That actually gives me a little bit, a few more civilian factories to get more aluminum, which would be awesome. Right now, we're building some stuff. Uh, we're still building some stuff in Georgia since I'm using some Georgian divisions. I don't mind doing that. Um, I need more rubber and fuel gain. That's not bad. <sighs> Let's do it. Why not? Yeah. We'll put you at the bottom of this list. We'll get to you eventually. Uh, research slot. That stuff is done. 1944 stuff. I could do mechanized stuff, but I really got to be careful what I'm doing. Right now, I'm researching motor modern tanks because why not? I haven't even done any tank stuff in this entire game, but those are very, very important. Um, let's see. Planes, tactical bombers. I am making tactical bombers. I haven't really focused on the Navy at all just because we have only three research slots, which really, really sucks, but whatever. Uh, yeah, not bad. We're making some tactical bombers. Nice. I like that. I really like that. Make a few, if we have any more tactical bombers. 
I'm not sure what is what? Oh. If you take a look, this fighter air wing, it's not doing so well right now. Go ahead and hold. And you might want to replenish how many planes you get. We got very nice total accidents that have happened 18 we got 29 planes in there all right very nice these guys are doing a great job so far um you, you guys are on crazy attack yet be on a little bit more balanced everything should be balanced Turks have lost 63,000 to me I've lost 3,000 to them oh it looks like the Bulgarians are actually pushing this way very nice fighter threes awesome naval bombers would be nice but don't really have space for them I'm gonna do carrier fighters threes just because I still have a carrier that I can use, which would be kind of nice. Fighter 3s... You know what? We, we might as well upgrade them. That will hurt reliability if I do more of that. Let's do that. More, a lot more speed, air attack, range, agility, and reliability. Thank you very much. Now I can actually maybe get a little bit more air XP, finally. Or not, but maybe a little bit. I'm doing 0.6 damage a day. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what the AI says. I want to take Gallipoli just because we're going to need some sort of land province to get into Bulgaria. Because I wanted to declare war on Bulgaria as well. I need them as a puppet. So they can help me take out Dona Idribon, Poland. Because when I go to war with Austria, the Germans obviously will want to take Vienna. And they'll probably take Bohemia as well. And probably Illyria. But I'll take Hungary. I'm going to annex, of course, the Ukrainians over here near Lemberg and Stanislaw and. Bukovina, or Chernovitz. I'll probably take Hungary as well and Romania. We'll divide it up between us. Oh, what is going on over here? Why are you attacking like crazy, guys? Why, 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 why? Oh, my goodness. Uh, they're out of manpower, so that makes sense to attack. The Union of Britain, they're under Mr. the Horn Dog, author Horner. Manpower, not bad for them, even though they're on service by requirement. Um, Morocco's sending. Divisions, convoys in there. All right, all right. Uh, if you guys could attack this way, that might be for the best. If possible, you can encircle maybe a few divisions, maybe. Uh, make sure these guys cannot move. That would be awesome. Oh, you're actually helping out. Very nice. Supplies aren't great. Awesome. That's exactly what we wanted here. And they're gone. Very nice, very nice. Awesome. Mm. Yep, still don't, I'm still not on the list for how many men the Commune of France or the Union of Britain have lost. Kind of disappointing. But we'll get there eventually. Actually, you know what? What's interesting, very, very interesting right now, that the Austrians have lost quite a few guys, two and a half million soldiers, to... The Union of Britain, Communist France, and Socialist Republic of Italy. That's very interesting that they've lost that many soldiers. They probably sent... Well, no, they haven't sent a lot of divisions down here. They probably lost them in the, trying to invade, naval invade Italy, like right here, or here. I think it was at one point near Akona. They're down here, obviously, as well. But it's been very interesting to see this. Oh, Germany. How much manpower does Germany have left? Because once they're out of manpower... they got a lot of manpower. Legation cities, investments ceased. Ooh. Commune of France. Oh, they got 72 guys. Maybe you guys are doing okay. Denmark is has quite a bit of manpower. Sweden. All right. Huh. Landstormen. Interesting. The Netherlands. Yeah. Wilhelmina is still there. Economic boom. Hmm. Half the country's already taken over, but they have an economic boom. Go figure. Still building stuff up here. Very nice. Very nice. War propaganda against Turkey. Well, we're pretty good on war propaganda. I, You know what? Let's do that. Since we might not be able to get a lot more stability, but we can always get more war support, which is always very nice to have. Awesome. You guys are doing great. Divisions being made. I'm still making one fire support. I'm After this division is made, I might just cut it off. I don't want to use too much of my own manpower, so. Manpower of Turkey. Getting lower. That's good. Up oh, and they are attacking us. Very nice. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. I know I don't I haven't put a lot of divisions there, but that's okay. Hmm. So, as we know, the Union of Socialist American States 
are here under this thick lady, Elizabeth Gurley Flynn. No manpower, surprisingly. Ooh, fosters economic policy. Huh. Advancing recovery from the Civil War. The Reichspact is actually doing okay. They actually took back this territory from Argentine Commune. That's a lot of Argentinians down there. Honestly, I really don't think that the war against the Third International will really be over by the time I attack Austria. I just don't think it's possible. Especially because Germany would have to invade the Union of Britain. And who else? Who else is in this? Union of Britain, Commune of France. Oh, that's it. Huh. Oh, Tricky's pretty, getting pretty close to capitulation. That's pretty good. Ankara's getting close. Very good. You guys actually might be able to attack here. Yeah, I guess that, yeah, they're really not going to be able to hold out very well. You guys, I need more divisions down here, but we'll have those divisions soon enough. Move me back up. I really like upgrades. Supplies are just doing, honestly, pretty darn well. I really like the supply situation we have currently. It's doing pretty darn well. Right now we have 0.71 political power a day. It's still pretty laggy. It's Kai's right. Go figure. But, you know, that's okay. Yeah, even over here in the Netherlands, you can see we're suffering from a little bit of attrition even after I put on logistic companies for most of my divisions. These guys have logistic companies. Fire support teams have... Oh, I didn't put logistic companies on them. Well, now you do. And that we got plenty enough support companies to do that. So, um, when, once we have modern tanks... I'm going to put a much, a ton of production on heavy tanks. Going to have to do that. Get rid of some of this support equipment stuff. You know what? I really don't mind making a few heavy tanks. If that means the efficiency cap will go higher when we switch it over to modern tanks. We got plenty enough support equipment right now. Let's see. Subtract 5. That should be good. Any more factories we can use will go to fighters as well as tactical bombers. Those would be very, very important. We finished off those naval dockyards for the Crimea region. Turkey and Bul... Okay. So they ended their war, which is not terrible for us. Actually, that's not bad, since we can still take Constantinople as well as Gallipoli. Now, that does mean, of course, that the war against Turkey might become a little bit more... Oh, it will probably become a little more difficult right now. We'll probably have to take out all of Constantinople. Send these four divisions under Yevan Konovalets. Konovalets. Down here. That'd be good. And we gotta smash the Turks now. Interesting. Bulgaria is really, really aggressive. What is Bulgaria doing? Air production. Well then. I... I have a feeling they're probably done with their focus tree. It is 1944. Bulg Bulgarization. Forcibly integrate Pomax. Colonize Muslim regions. Ban Turkish political parties. Ah, uh, just Bulgarian things. Alright, so that means I've killed about a quarter million Turks. In exchange for how many losses? 10,000. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Awesome. Oh, look at all this. We don't have a lot of planes. Ooh. Let's see. We don't need any more supplies. We still need more planes down here. Aluminum. Give me one more of that. Give me one more of this as well. Thank you very much. I need more planes. Good. We're actually making quite a few fighters now, which is nice. But I would really like a lot more tactical bombers. Actually, you know what? Nice. Very good. We're still making some carrier naval bombers, some interwar carrier fighters to do the best we can for our carriers. Um, since we got a couple convoys... Ooh, carrier fighter 3 is very nice. I was smart to do that. Ships. There's really no good real reason for me to even invest in ships now. I mean, by the time we get down there, it'll be a waste of time to a degree. Um, but I love... I love... Dreadnoughts. I really love Dreadnoughts. Let's do that, because why not? Screw it. Interwar carrier fighters. Oh, excuse me. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, just go from interwar, like, 1920s carrier fighters to, like, 1945 carrier fighters. That would be great. Thank you very much. You know what? Actually, carrier fighter threes. We don't have that much air XP for this, but... Engine... Uh... That hurts our reliability. 
that's not just make it slightly better and for this carrier fighter threes you can take that off for fighter threes you can take that off um yeah not bad and we got to make sure carrier fighter threes are actually doing carrier fighter three mark threes yeah there you go you guys are doing a great job special divisions spec up divisions i love them constantinople is going to be a problem we're probably going to have to siege that down which is totally fine with me Oh, Germany, Reichspack got... Oh, why are you attacking with only a single division? That doesn't make any sense, my friends. Makes no sense. What am I doing right now? I'm doing construction repair to help maybe repair some of these roads. It's really not that important to repair these roads, to be honest with you guys. Um, it'll be done by 1945, obviously, but... Hmm. I wish there was a modifier that... Okay, Vienna? Okay, so Austria gave you that, but... They still have Trieste. Interesting, Vienna. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Also, I do want to take out Constantinople. Just because I need access to the Mediterranean. We're here in the Black Sea, and the Black Sea is great and all, but I could really use the Mediterranean. Oh, uh, what is this? Rubber. Rubber. I need some rubber, Madras. No, we don't have enough. I don't want to use any convoys. Hmm. But we're making some of our own. That's very good. That's very, very good. You guys are still doing... Oh, you have an upgrade, sir. Yes, you do. Infantry expert. Does our field marshal have anything? No. He's becoming a better leader, though, in all sorts of things, which is very nice. Oh, a few more divisions. Oh, the 179th Luhansk. Oh, it's a little laggy. Happy 1945, my friends. Tibet and... Oh, my goodness. Now that's a thick Japan. Now that's scary. Now that's not good. Ooh. Um, and next we'll call this one. Mm, the 200th, 61st, Kase. Oh, I spelled that wrong. And I, and I said that wrong, and I spelled it wrong. There you go. There you go. Happy 1945, everyone. Happy 1945. Wow, Georgia, you're looking kind of thick. That's going to be a thick Georgian kingdom. Um, ooh, we couldn't win up north. Oh, don't tell me they're releasing Mongolia. I don't really like it if they're doing that. Yep, this is going to be some really, really major lag. Excuse me, wanted a little bit of water there. Um, still losing a few divisions. Very nice. I will check up north to see if Mongolia has been released. It seems like Japan might be releasing something else. Oh, they're out of manpower, which is actually really good for us. Yep, they're doing great. Oh my goodness, that is disgusting. Uh, you know what? I don't like this lag, so you know what? Siberia is back. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let time go on, but I don't want this many different states. Go ahead and transfer everything to Siberia. Oh. I actually had that as a core. And I'm coring this territory for Siberia just because um, I don't want this to be released as a puppet. I want to minimize the number of countries that are available and able to produce divisions. So that's unfortunately why I have to core these states. And I trust my Spec Ops divisions. Mostly be to... What is that? The Pension Government. Do you actually... Okay, so I can just give this all to... The Fengshin government. Ah, oh, that makes sense. That makes more sense. But this might look a little bit nicer. There you go. Actually, this probably won't look a little bit nicer. Yeah, actually, all this territory is owned by the Fengshin government. Ah, oh, I'm, mess I'm messing this up. Mark. Transfer. Well, we got time anyways. Mark. Just give this back to these guys. This would honestly make more sense. Transfer. Thank you. Uh, you still have cores on this. Dang. John, you got a lot of cores on this. Now this, obviously, can go up here. Transfer. Mark core. You guys, mark. Mark. Transfer. 
Mark. Mark and core. There you go. Now that's not great. That's a thick Fengqing government. Uh, you guys. Yeah. I'm done with you all, so thank you very much for playing. I appreciate your service. Your check might be in the mail if we can afford it. Nice. We're doing okay ish against the Turks. It's obviously just a very slow war because. Well, it's a laggy game. The Germans are still trying to kill off some divisions down here, but. Them trying to break six divisions, using six divisions that are very weak. Not a great idea, guys. Not a great idea. Oh, we're actually getting navally invaded. That's interesting. Huh. Well, if they have the balls to do that, then I shall have the balls to do this. Nice. And we have plenty enough fuel to do this, so... I already have fighters over here, which was a smart decision by me to do this. And even though I might be using really outdated bombers to do this, it's still, I think, important to do. Oh, hello there. Oh, we're actually going to get into a naval battle using their cruisers. Three light cruisers, eight destroyers. I think we might win that. Oh, you guys are still actually down here. Um, get to the front, guys. I might need your help with taking Constantinople. Oh, hello, seven more dead Turkish convoys. Yep, that's still a mess. So, Siberia. Hello, Siberia. Hope you're having a good day. Um, not a lot of manpower. No divisions. The Fengtian government has quite a bit of strength now. Quite a bit of strength. I, wonder, I really want to see them try to kill off the Republic of China right now. Um, nice. Even more ships are sunk. Oh. Oh, we actually found the enemy fleet. Nice. Oh, good. God, these guys are doing pretty darn well against the Turkish fleet. Oh, baby, two cruisers have been sunk. Give me more of those cruisers, man. Let us get some of that, more of that naval XP. Oh, we found the pride, uh oh, we found the pride of the fleet. The subs disengage, disengage subs. You don't need to do that right now. Yeah, if we're fighting the pride of the fleet, which had a battleship, probably three more battleships, nine light cruisers, and 28 destroyers, that's not good for us. But we do have a carrier. And we have quite a few planes already working in the Black Sea. So this should be very interesting to see what happens. Good, we escaped. We escaped. That's good. Uh oh, our battleship has engaged them. Oh, my not... Okay, we sunk the pride of the fleet. I am enjoying that. Very much so. Four destroyers. We sunk the pride of the fleet. Uh, we lost a destroyer ourselves, which is honestly okay if we take out their pride of the fleet and then six more of their enemy destroyers. Beautiful. Um, if no one's this way, I will gladly go this way as well. And for you guys, Admiral, make sure everyone can split off if needed. Very nice. We're going to need a few more things here to help repair a lot of these ships that got hit. Nice. Good, good, good. If I can take Constantinople, that's probably going to be the end of this war with the Turks. And that'll be a beautiful thing. Truly a very, very... Oh, we took it. Awesome. Thank you very much for playing, Turkey. You are now mine. Now, I'm not going to give this to Georgia. I'm actually going to take them, pop at them, because to help with the lag in this game, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take out Bulgaria, but I'm going to give Bulgaria, when we take it over, to Turkey. And that will kind of be like a Neo-Ottoman Empire. Fate of Cyprus. Uh, Fate of Anatolia. Let's do that. Allow the formation of a new Turkish Republic. Well, we destroy the last remnants of the Turkish state and finally put the sick man of Europe in his grave. Our troops patrol the streets of Ankara. However, we can't remain as occupiers forever. A decision will have to be made in regards to the future government of the Turkish people. We're going to re release them. And immediately use them as a manpower puppet. Turkish state. Ah, yes. Very good. Ooh, hello. Four more divisions. You can be under Pablo Skoropatsky. Very nice. You guys. Hello, Nihal... At says National Populous. Very awesome. Now, I'm going to use you. You will be over here. You're going to defend over here when we go to war with the Bulgarians. You guys, I'm going to send half of you to be here. I'm going to send the other half to the other area as well. Let time go on for now, I suppose. There's no real reason not to. We want to kill the Bulgarians off, though. Oh, we have an aggression pact with the leader. Wait, with our leader? Um, they have a non-aggression pact with 
our faction leader. Oh, okay. So, Germany, you need to get rid of your non-aggression pact with them. Please. I can't leave the faction yet. Oh, wait. Can I take over the faction? Oh, uh, countries may not take over faction leadership, which sucks. We and our ne subjects need to have an effective 7.4 million deployed manpower, but we only have 2.4. Oh, man. We need 711 factories, but only have 251. I, you know, honestly, I'm going to mess with this a little bit. Just I will make sure that Bulgaria no longer has a non-aggression pact with the Germans. Just so we can keep going with this a little bit. But that's pretty much all the time for that we have today. We are ever increasing our supply of soldiers. Um, always making sure that we got more and more and more. Uh, we're going to call this the 51st. Um, Ukraine. Ukraine. Just as the country Ukraine. Cool. Let's make sure we get a Turkish state template before we're done here. We got quite a few templates, Turkey. Maybe that's why you lost the war. Uh, that's not bad. Template 3. That's not... Actually, that's not bad. Template 3. Template 4. We'll duplicate that. Save as 0. Thank you very much. Edit from the Turks, which has no flag down here. Um, Infantry. We're just going to make... Actually, what am I doing? Take that off. Good. We don't need anti-tank for now. Recon. Do that. Do that. Do all the normal stuff. So that took off 20,000 manpower, which I, mm, you know, I'm going to mess with this a little bit. So anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will go to war with Bulgaria and prepare to go to war with the Donal Adriboon. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great, great day.